I think we often completely underestimate the power of play for children, particularly in terms of well-being. What children do in play is they, they learn to regulate their emotions and they learn the social skills and other things that, that keep them calm. They learn how to share and they get a lot of strokes from their friends in that process. Marcus Veerman was always a big kid at heart, but it was an opportunity overseas that saw playgrounds become his passion. My wife had a volunteer position in Thailand and I left a great job over here to follow her and really just started saying yes to different projects that I saw and the one that stuck was play. So we were based in Thailand on the Thai-Myanmar border and there are millions of refugees across that border and basically we built one playground and uh, the word just spread from there to the point where we were building a, a new custom playground every two weeks along that border and we ended up building for about 40 schools. And we basically made a commitment to build a playground using only the local people and the local tools and materials that we could find in that region. But that was just the start. Marcus had a much bigger vision. What better way to reach as many communities as possible than online? What Playground Ideas is all about is getting communities anywhere to create play for children. So we offer all the manuals and tools for anyone anywhere to get local tools, materials and resources together to create a great stimulating play space. With over 150 free, step-by-step, language-free designs, there's a playground to suit all kinds of kids in all kinds of places. So over the last decade, we estimate that we've had about 4,500 communities in 143 countries use our resources, and we estimate that that's impacted about two to two and a half million children. They are very happy, they are playing safely. So we took the, um, the global safety standards, and then we boiled that down into um, a manual in a cartoon form with almost no language, so you can just absorb you know, how big does a head hole need to be so that you don't get a strangulation hazard or a pinching hazard on a finger and those kinds of things so that people can use these local materials but actually get it right to the standards because a lot of those countries, they don't have any safety standards at all. So this is a game changer for communities. Most communities that we build in, they don't have any playgrounds at all. So it becomes a central focus for the community, which I think is something that really makes a difference. And with a commitment to use whatever resources are available, no two playgrounds are the same. You know, we've built cubby houses out of um, concrete uh, water tank rings that you can kind of build up and cap off and then cut windows and holes in. Um, obviously local timber, local chain and steel, but also, I mean, we would have used hundreds of thousands of tyres recycled all, uh, and you can get them in basically any country for almost nothing or nothing. Just behind me, um, the car tyre sphere was something we developed really early, um, which is just a favourite because it's super fun. I love the way it moves, um, but it's also, it can cost almost nothing. You know, you get about 25 volts and it's done. Another favourite is our four-way seesaw, which is four seesaws put together. Um, and I just love the dynamics of when kids run around it, it has this kind of cause and effect motion of when the kids are skipping around, how they all affect each other. Um, but it turns a, a seesaw, which would normally be a sort of a two-person activity, into a, an activity where you can have lots of group rules begin and other things. It's really exciting. I mean, that play drive precedes us as humans. Those same very, very deep drives are within all children. You see them posting small objects into a hole or um, stacking things. All of those things are similar because it's all about children understanding about the way the world works. And so I think we've, we've carried that through um, as we've migrated and it evolved around the world.